Hello and welcome to Web Windows YouTube channel and you're watching Python tutorial series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see about strings in Python. Well, strings are nothing but text. So when it comes to programming you need text. You want to print out something as a line or a sentence or something as an information to people. You need text. And you have to store that text as a data type in programming language and that's where strings can be used. In Python, you should write the string within quotes, either double quotes or single quotes. So, of course, there are different usages with the double quotes and single quotes, and you might need to differentiate between the quotes in a string by using the other quotes. And anything within the quotes will be a string, even if it is a number. So, you are writing 24 or 30 within the quotes, it will still correspond to the string, not as a number or an integer value. So right now we're going to see about the implementation of these strings in our program. I'm going to use my Eclipse IDE with PyDev. So if you're not using it or if you don't have Eclipse IDE with PyDev, then go back to the video where I have installed and set up the PyDev in Eclipse. So right now I'm going to create my file which is going to be string.py. You also know that the py is the extension for the Python files. Right now, I'm going to create a couple of strings which we are going to use in this program. So, first of all, is going to be the comment. I'm going to just state this is my first string. So, right now, I'm just going to create a variable and I'm going to store a string within that variable. So, it's going to be a string variable. Python will take care of assigning the string data type to that variable so you don't have to actually specify it. So this is going to be my first string. We've already seen in our variables video that you can give your own names for the variables and it can be more readable. Sorry about that, I made a mistake there. And instead of using the space between the words, you can use underscore. So that will create a perfect variable for you so that you can remember that later on in the program. So my first string is going to be this is is the string number one okay so that corresponds to the first string then going to be the second string and I'm going to give this is the second string okay well of course uh, there are two different types just to make sure that it is differentiating so I'm going to print out these strings we've already seen over and over again how to print the strings just doing the same thing second string. So now I'm going to save the file, run it, and you can get the output. So this is the string number one, and this is the string number two, which is the second string. Okay, so now we have a very clear string, so there's not a bigger problem. But what happens when I have a code within the string? So for example, this is the string number one, and I want to put the one within the code. So that's going to give me problems. It's definitely going to give you an error. Because even if you use a code after the code, it's going to give you errors. You cannot use double codes within double codes. At that point, you can use single code instead of double codes. And that will eliminate the error. And you can print the double codes within the string. So that's going to, going to give you a problem. But you still want to use double codes but you want to add the double codes within the string then you have an option where you can use backslash in order to escape those symbol characters so now when I save the file and run it it's going to give me the exact string and you're still using the double codes it goes the same with the single codes as well so because if you're using single codes in here and I want to use a single code in here this is going to give you an error so I can escape the single code with a backslash and now I can get the single codes in here. This is one simple way but let's wait. I want this number to be more of a dynamic number so I'm going to use it with a variable and it's going to change over time but this string part is going to be static. So I want to change this to be used as a variable. So right now I'm going to use percentage %d. So if you are a C programmer, C++ programmer, you will already know that percentage denotes to the integer value. And 
you're going to use that with printf in C. And now we're going to use the same concept and I'm going to add the variable that I want to print along with this. So I have created a variable. So I'm going to create a variable name as number is equal to 1. So minus 1. And I'm going to add that within my string as number. Okay. With a percentage before. So this is going to clearly state that, sorry, the comma should not be there. I'm extremely sorry about that. And this states that the number variable will be added in place of the percentage D. So I'm going to run it and you can see that the one is still there. I'm just going to change the number in here to five. Let's save it and run it. You can see that the five is added in here. So it's not that you can only add the number in here. You can also add string in here and you can change here into uh, string five. Okay, sorry about that. String five. five. I'm just going to delete the five, save it, and if I run it, you can see that the string has been added within the codes with the help of a variable. Just like that, you can add different variables within a string. And you want to add a couple of variables. For example, I have a string in here. Okay, so I'm also going to, sorry about that, I'm just going to use string in here. Number is equal to 5. So I'm just going to add the string first and then add the number in here. Okay, but I have only one variable in here. So I have to add a bracket around these variables and add one more variable which is going to be string. So please note that I'm maintaining the order in which my variables has to be added to the string. So first is going to be the string which is the string in here. I just added that in here and then the number percentage d denotes to the number and I'm adding the number to the next part. So when I print it by running it you can see that it's working fine. I'm just going to add 1 before the 5 to make it 15 and running it again it's working fine. So like this way you can create a string with more complex variables like for example if I have a data about the student I'm just going to use student underscore name is equal to some name. So let's say like student, just giving some random names. Student age, let's go age, is equal to 24. Please note that it's a number. Student for gender is equal to male. Okay, so this is the data that we are having about the student. And I want to create a line with the help of these data variables. So I'm going to create student underscore data which is a string and first thing is the percentage D so this is going to be the age year old student percentage s so this is where my student name will be coming in is a and again I'm going to use a percentage s which is a string and this is where the gender of the students will be coming in is a student. So it's going to give me the 24 year old student student is a male student. So that's bad. Okay. Let's say like Marcus. Okay. Some random name. It doesn't have anything to do with my name or any one of my friends. So don't worry about that. And now I'm going to add all those variables to the string with the help of the bracket. So we have to add three variables in here and I'm going to add them in the right order. That is the correct order in which it has to be displayed. So it's going to be student underscore age first and then the student name and finally the student gender. Okay, so now it's going to be applied on the string that we are having and I want to print it out with the help of print method. So it's going to be student underscore data. So now let's see whether it's working fine or not. Run it. The 24-year-old student Marcus is a male student. So that's working perfectly fine. So this is one of the best ways that you can actually create a complex string with the help of variables added to them. So by this way, you can create a lot more complex versions of the string and also add more variables into the string to make it look more uh, good form the sentence. 
so that actually ends the program and also ends the video so thank you for watching this video and hope it was useful for you if you find this video useful please hit the like button and also share this video with your friends and also subscribe to the channel and there's a lot of videos coming in and if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks please feel free to share it in the comment section of this video or google plus page facebook page or twitter feed and you can also contact me through the social links that I've shared in the description section. And if you find that I'm going very fast and you cannot grasp it, please let me know. I'm trying as much as possible in order to increase the content quality of this channel. And I will be very thankful to you if you give me some suggestions in order to improve the quality of the video as well. So thank you for watching this video and have a great day.